This is a view of dense bone or compact bone on low power. It's very distinctive tissue, doesn't look like anything else, and you'll see that as we now move to high power. Once we get to high power, we can see that bone is connective tissue. Um, there are some little black appearing cells here. These black appearing cells are spaced apart. There's a matrix between them, hence it's connective tissue. These um, black regions are where the cell resided in life. Those are what we would call the lacunae. The lacunae in life contained a living cell. In bone, those cells are called osteocytes. When you look at this slide, you can see that the osteocytes have been laid down in concentric rings, um, in layers. Um, those concentric rings form what is called the osteon. The osteon is the uh, basic unit of compact bone. The tip of the pointer here is at the osteocyte, or really the lacuna, the little space in the bone that contained the cell in life. The pointer here is on another lacuna, or in life would have been where another osteocyte resided. In this view, the tip of the pointer is on the central canal. In life, this is filled with blood vessels, and this is actually um, how the uh, tissue of the bone is kept alive. Blood supplies nutrients and removes waste. Right in this region, sometimes it appears black, but often, just the way it appears in this slide, we see the central canal. In this region, you can see other lacunae, dark staining, little spaces, but you can also see little streaks coming out from those lacunae. Those streaks are actually very small canals that radiate away from that lacuna. Those tiny little canals are called the canaliculi, meaning tiny canal. Um, extensions from the osteocyte in life are found in those tiny canals. A lamella extends from osteocyte to osteocyte. Lamella means layer. Um, in this case, it's the layer of matrix laid down like a tree ring as the um, osteon grows or as the osteocyte lays the matrix down. The osteon is composed of concentric rings of lamellae. In this view, we can see three central canals, one at about 3 o'clock, one at 7 o'clock, and one at maybe 9 or 10 o'clock. If there were a Volkmann or perforating canal present, that canal would extend from one central canal directly to another central canal. A perforating canal is simply a, um, a blood vessel, or the canal in which a blood vessel resides, with, that allows communication from one osteon to its neighbor. So were it present, it would be a very distinctive feature. There um, is not one on this slide, so be sure you check the posters in lab or your textbook for it.